Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. <laughs> I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And we've taken dumb ideas and made even dumber drawings for years, it turns out. Wow. Wow. Have we? That's bleak. We've done it. We continue to do it. And today, we're going to take our even dumber drawings and make even, even dumber drawings from old drawings that we've done in the past. This suggestion comes to us from Blue Bradley. <laughs> Blue Bradley said that we should redraw our first drawing for Drawfee. So we've taken a trip down memory lane to do the things Nathan said. Yeah, that I said so well and good. The things that Nathan said so eloquently <laughs> and expediently. Uh -huh. And we're gonna do we're gonna do that. And it's it's not necessarily our first in all cases, but it's like our earliest, worstest one that we wanna redo. We take these suggestions and we tweak them to our desires. Our discerning needs. So I'm going first, which I think is only appropriate because I was the first I was the first of, of us to be on Drawfee. Original Drawf. So my very first drawing that I ever did for Drawfee was the Drawfee mug. But I'm going with the first drawing uh, in a Drawfee video that appears on YouTube, which is the Snakes with Legs episode. <laughs> Show the little. Oh, there he is. The little drawing. There that's it is. A, that's a drawing. I don't like <laughs> it. It sure is a drawing. <laughs> It was, you know, back when we didn't edit at all, and I just wanted to not waste Caldwell's time. That was all of our desire back in the early days. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be liked by Caldwell. Just wanted to <laughs> take up as little time as possible, draw on a snake, but now I'm going to take my time. Yeah. I'm going to snake my time. <laughs> <laughs> Caldwell is dead, <laughs> and we can go as slow as we want now. <laughs> it's so slow. I do want to keep him sort of like, he's like a very happy, friendly snake, and I do want to keep that. I want to hear your thoughts about like what you think could be improved. What do you think about your art has grown in this time? Um, I think I could definitely do sort of like with a with a better overall composition to the piece. He's just sort of... He's just sort of looking off to yeah. the left. He's just sort of facing to the left. <laughs> a thing that I've found, a good a good artist cheat that I've been doing in a lot of my pieces is I'll have the face facing a different direction than the body is facing. Yeah. Yeah, that's dynamic. It's actually very easy to do when the body is just sort of a tube. Because in, in old Dravi episodes, we shared the canvas. I was trying to take up only half the canvas or less mm -hmm. so that Caldwell could draw on his time. But now I got the whole canvas. So I, I, yeah. I usually make my drawings a little bit wider. Now we're greedy. Yeah. Let's luxuriate <laughs> in our space and our time that we have. I'm going to have him doing sort of like a big step. Oh, I think I love that. Get some action. Steppy. Just a big steppy. A do, doing leggy as, uh, as yeah, you do. getting that leggy, as Karina <laughs> says. <laughs> but I do, I do like that. My instinct was to draw very muscular, realistic human legs yes. on this snake. I think that's funny. Very good. I think that's still <laughs> funny. That was a go-to for Drawfee, I feel, for a long time, was just to put human legs or arms on things. Yeah. I gave him just sort of bare feet, and I think I'm going to, I want to style this snake up a little bit. A little sneaky? Oh. So I think, I think I'm going to give him uh, heels. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For that leg that's sticking out. Take a fancy step. Damn. That's a hot step. And then maybe this one's coming up like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looks like it's. To do a fart. <laughs> oh, I was about to say <laughs> a kick. About to oh, kick that me in too. the oh, face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rearing up. It's yeah. it, it, why not me. both? Yeah. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> it could be on one me, of them. Steak mommy. <laughs> fart kicks. Did you just say step on me, snake mommy? Yeah, I did. It's it's snami. Step on me, snami. <laughs> Thank you. Johnny snami. <laughs> It's got to be good. It's got to be right for Snami. <laughs> for, for Snami. Do it right for Snami. Do it for your <laughs> snuther. No. <laughs> snuther dearest. 
Another dearest. <laughs> Nobody showed this to Brennan. <laughs> Sure would be a shame if someone tweeted this at Brennan. <laughs> I don't want him to think this is all we do. I kind of do want him to think that. <laughs> I see no issue with him thinking that. <laughs> I kind of, I think that's a fun prank. I think that's a fun, just sort of make Brennan think that we always do snakes stuff. Yeah, weird snake human <laughs> hybrids. Why has it got to be snakes? Nice. It's Brennan. Nice. <laughs> Brennan watching Drawfee. I hope somebody makes like an edit of that scene in Indiana Jones. And, and it's put, Brennan's face yeah. over the top. And instead of snakes, it's a bunch of this snoke snake in this <laughs> yeah. one. There's a snatty too. Bring snatty back. Bring snatty back. <laughs> I'm bringing snatty you, back. You did the cool snake lady in the Sekiro episode. Right. Oh yeah! Oh, and, and Snowbra. Yeah. How could I forget the best of them all? <laughs> all right. Well, this is my uh, this is my snake with legs. Maybe I'll wow. give him one. Oh yeah. yeah. I think this yeah. is a, a huge improvement. Yeah. So full of life. Yeah, I believe in this snake, and this snake believes in kicks <laughs> and farts <laughs> and toots. <laughs> toot. <laughs> Hell yeah! Nice. All right. Beautiful work, Nathan. Thank you. Am I up next? Karina, Karina time. Whoa. I got to reach back pretty far for my first one, farther than I think a lot of people realize, because I was first on draw fee right at the butt end of 2016. As a guest. As, As a, a guest. guest. As a as a part of a, a duo of guests. Yeah, I was on with Dami Lee my dear friend, and we together with Nathan and Andy Stewart made a four panel comic. And I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's my panel from our weird four panel comic about McCree being late to school. <laughs> He's late for high noon. He's late for <laughs> high noon. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't rewatch the episode. I was too embarrassed. It's the. I just. I. You know. I thought. I. All I knew about you was that you were a very good freelance illustrator and that you liked to draw uh, Overwatch stuff. And so I thought, well, we'll let's do something with that. Oh, let's do, do something with do? that. I'll set it up. I'll draw the first panel. And and here's the thing. Not only did I come into this experience not really knowing what was going on. What am I doing? I don't know how to lay this out. Pardon me while I lay out this thing. But I didn't know what was happening because um, I, I just was not familiar at all with Drafi. I also came in like, I'm not going to make this about Overwatch. Oh. <laughs> that was my immediate thought. I was just like, I'm not going to be weird. <laughs> I'm going to be real cool. And I'm not going to make this about Overwatch because that was a lot of what I was drawing at the time. And then immediately Nathan <laughs> made it about Overwatch. So we fully, we fully missed each other's intentions. Yeah, we were not on the same wavelength no. back then, but that's okay. I, I didn't mind. I mostly just felt bad because like, <laughs> Dami doesn't do Overwatch fan art. <laughs> Dami just had to get on board. Yeah, she had to be ready. So Dami drew a fantastic panel, which was a POV <laughs> looking at your phone. Is this what I want? Is this what you want? I don't know. See, the problem with mine is that it's a full scene. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's my first draw fee, so I gotta because this is a bed. Is this the angle I want? I'm gonna be struggling with this one. But yeah, before we started recording, I was just telling Nathan how confused I was <laughs> on my first episode of draw fee. I had no idea what was happening. This is a failure on my part to to communicate that. My understanding was that you and Dami were both familiar and interested <laughs> in being on an episode. I mean, it, it's also on my part because I had already been freelancing for you guys for a few months at that point. I just didn't know any better. <laughs> I just didn't know what was happening. And I was like, that does sound cool. I don't know what it is, though. And I didn't know who you were. 
I mean, I assume I knew at the time that you were my freelance contact, but yes. I, I didn't know who Andy was. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know anything that was happening. Karina, why but... did you agree to this? Yeah, how did I, I'm <laughs> how more did interested now in like to get in how, here? how this I don't happened. remember how this happened. I think Dommy is the one who like hooked me up. So Dommy <laughs> and Andy, yeah. we're going to blame them. Like, I don't know how much you were involved. <laughs> I mostly just remember talking to Dami about it, and I was like, yeah, I'm free that day. <laughs> I got a Slack message from Andy uh, being like, hey, Dami and Karina are coming to the office, and uh, would, would it be cool if they were on Drawfee? And I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. And that was and that was the extent of the sort of legwork I did. That's kind of the extent of things on my end too. So I, really? <laughs> I just got a message from Dommy as far as I could remember being like, Hey, do you want to be on this trophy thing with me? And I was like, Yeah, that sounds fun. I know some college humor people. I know Nathan. We email <laughs> about freelance. <laughs> Andy, by the way, Andy Stewart, AC Stewart, uh, does Awu comics and uh, Elf and Warrior on Webtoon. Probably have seen at least one of his comics just out in the wild because yep. he makes very he popular, makes, uh, very, very popular, a, very, very prolific, funny comic writer. Yeah, you know, it was it was the Wild West. <laughs> That's why we good old days. It was high noon of draw feet. Yeah. <laughs> we brought it back. <laughs> um, there were no rules. That's so funny. We all had like different understandings of what was going on that day. <laughs> well, no one, no one else was there because we came after like the office, like like after closing hours. <laughs> well, I I met you and Dami that day. Did you? I don't remember you. <laughs> it was, well, it was literally just like in passing. I'm so sorry. He wasn't eating yogurt at the time, so it was wow. Hard to recognize. You both came over to like the illustration area. Okay, after I kind of remember that, but and it, it was, was literally just like, "Hi, you know, this is Karina and Dami," and I was like, "Oh, hey, nice to meet you," and you know, we shook hands, and that was like it. So I was I, at a different site, so I don't think I knew any of this was going on. No one knew anything. No one knew anything. <laughs> this yeah. was a very strange day for everyone, apparently. <laughs> well, if it was, if it was the butt end of twenty. Sixteen. It means that I hadn't been like I'd been doing Drawfee, but I hadn't been full time as running. I remember Drawfee. it was. I remember it was right before Christmas because I I left to go home shortly after. And I I started doing Drawfee as my full time job earlier that year, like over the summer. Mm. So it was like Drawfee had only recently transitioned from thing we recorded in the middle of the office in between doing our other jobs. <laughs> yeah, because we were in the office. <laughs> yeah. The, the draw office. So. Yeah, I had the draw office at that point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what a fun time. It was a good time. I And I will say that, like, I um, I thought you uh, hated uh, being no. on. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my disposition. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. I was just really confused. And <laughs> I mean, as as fair. as you know now, I'm very shy, so I just didn't know what was I, I was trying really hard to act natural. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I think it's so funny that that being your first drawfee experience, <laughs> which most people probably would have guessed would also be your last drawfee experience. <laughs> But no. now here we are. <laughs> it worked out. Yeah, it worked out great. Now it's your job. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> it was because it was a while before, like even after you got hired to be an illustrator at College Humor, it was a while before I invited you back on because again, I thought you had disliked the experience. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I'm just shy <laughs> and confused <laughs> and bad at improv. <laughs> well, it's one thing I've said to like Julia and stuff is that I was, I was thinking, um, about like <laughs> your level of like comfort slash improvement on like doing drawfee since you first started doing it is like wild. Yeah. Like it was so fast and then 
now it just seems like you've been doing it like always. You guys make it easy because it's fun. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I just know it took me a lot longer before I felt like I was feeling natural with it. I feel like you got it really quick. Took me like three years. It probably took me that long too. I mean, I also joined or started being in more episodes and eventually joined m much later than y'all. So a learning curve, you know? Y'all were already like doing your thing and it was kind of just like, I just need to catch up with that. So, and like I said, I have a lot of fun recording with you guys. So naturally it just comes easy after Yay. a while. We this all love each other. <laughs> Yay. It. This we was a good fun. episode suggestion <laughs> it's reminiscing yeah, yeah thinking of the old times struggle to draw i mean this is already a much better mccree than you drew yeah yeah before. i wanted to make it a little bit more uh the angle different because uh to give a little bit more backstory dami and i know each other through working at buzzfeed and doing a lot of four panel comics and when especially with those type of things for media companies, you kind of just want it to be real easy and really easy to read. So it's a lot of simple, simple angles and stuff. So I just wanted to make this a little bit more. You got to make it a little bit more fun. Mobile. Yes, yeah, so readable. And readable, readable for mobile. people who are going to look at it for a whole 10 seconds. So yeah. this is my slightly elevated <laughs> version <laughs> of this comic. Yeah, this is more like the two demons adaptation <laughs> of Hanzo Mrs. High Noon. <laughs> yeah. Hanzo away. gets a little bit cut out of this one because of the oh, angle. Sorry, I meant but... McCree. McCree Mrs. High Noon. <laughs> no, I know. I just wasn't going to address it because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So hi let's heighten this concept even more by giving him some furniture. Gonna give this guy a gun lamp. Oh, gun, gun lamp. lamp. I have a gun lamp back at my parents' house that I've never been able to bring up here. <laughs> I miss it every day. It's illegal <laughs> in New York. Yeah. No gun lamps allowed. <laughs> I'd get stopped at the airport if I ever tried. <laughs> It's a lamp, I swear. That might actually be a concern I've had, but yeah. There's an entire gun section at Hobby Lobby for like home decor, so oh, I just got really tempted one summer and I got a gun lamp. <laughs> That's amazing. A whole gun decor section at Hobby Lobby. That's Texas, baby. That's wild. <laughs> and the, the piece de resistance. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. This was another BuzzFeed thing because I just, for my own amusement, for, for no other reason than that, I was hiding Yu-Gi-Oh references in <laughs> all of my BuzzFeed comics. So that was like my like, signature. That's a fun game to play. Go back to and, like, Karina BuzzFeed uh, comic. Yeah. <laughs> and like Find seeing them. who would notice and like eventually like people in like Yu-Gi-Oh fandom noticed and they're like um <laughs> what is this <laughs> um and but I was keeping track and it took over a hundred days for anyone that I worked with to point it out to me <laughs> not that it mattered but like I said I just did that for my own amusement and I thought it was funny so this is my this is my signature move of putting Yu-Gi in a picture frame or something <laughs> <laughs> great <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know it's a Karina comic. If you're ever like a serial killer in the future, <laughs> this will be your calling card. A framed picture of Yugi. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Scene. All right. I'm a. I'm a wrap this up. I feel like I kind of took a while on it. This is great. It's wonderful. I'll fix it in post. I'm excited to color it because no offense. Nathan, who I assume rendered it, but it you read me. the lines wrong. <laughs> I, I did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. So this will be my redemption arc for that one. <laughs> but yeah, here he is, McCree waking up to late to high noon. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the 2006 classic. <laughs> Representative of so much confusion collectively. <laughs> Chaotic day. <laughs> Such a chaotic day, apparently. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's nice that we can look back on it and laugh now. Yeah, it's good times. I'm glad that we're friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me too. On that note, I'm going to do one It's now. Jacob time. Yay. I went back and watched my first ever Droppy video and... Like I got 10 seconds in and I busted out laughing because of the way I said my name at the intro. <laughs> I sound like I'm 10 feet away from the mic and I'm desperately afraid that if I speak too loud, I'll be killed. <laughs> Caldwell's like, I'm Caldwell. And I'm like, I'm Jacob. I'm Jacob. So I'm Jacob. meek. <laughs> you had, to, so you had meek. to get it in real quick. It's like, I need to take up as little space on this episode as <laughs> I just flashed up my hedgehog on the screen. Flash that hedgehog. <laughs> um, so the drawing I'm going to redo is not the first one, but the second episode I was in. Um, I did this like original character challenge where Caldwell drew a shape, and then I had to make it into an original <laughs> character. And I made it into this Sonic the Hedgehog like cool teen youth pastor guy <laughs> who's giving you pamphlets about his Christian rock band. <laughs> And uh, so what I'm going to do this time is do the shape again and reinterpret the shape as something else. Oh. I might just have to like draw over the line because I got this weird gradient on it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to incorporate it. <laughs> Going back and watching. First of all, the episode was six minutes long, which is insane. Can you imagine? I, I literally cannot. <laughs> Can you imagine drawing for six minutes and being like, I'm done? <laughs> Call it a day. And also that the drawing I did was so bad and it took me six <laughs> minutes to do. <laughs> I would argue it's actually a very good and funny drawing. Yeah. I think it's funny, but it's just like looking at it from my current skill level, like six years later, <laughs> is like this is, there's a lot of things I probably would have done differently. Um, so I'm gonna start with this shape and I'm gonna try to to get sort of a, Maybe like a similar vibe, but I want to do it better this time. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. A better youth pastor Sonic? A better youth pastor Sonic, yeah. Okay. <laughs> youth pastor Sonic 2. <laughs> yeah, youth, youth pastor Sonic 2. <laughs> he rises again. Because if I make this like a, a brow that's a bit more down, we can get a better sort of angle on this. Uh, also, <laughs> we were laughing earlier because this was during a time when our titling was like insane. Yeah. It was bad. Like Julia's first episode is just called Drombat Special Guest. Yep. And I wonder who the guest is. That doesn't mean anything. What is Don't know. What is Drombat? Don't know. I was really confused when you were talking about it before we started recording because you kept saying Drombat, and I'm like, did you? Wombat? <laughs> Is it a wombat? We draw a lot of wombats. We have. I would a show, never know. A show called Drombat. There was someone who would comment on every Drombat that it sounded like wombat. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was oh, me. so you did, did watch Drombat in, in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> she only watched the Drombats. Listen, we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> College Humor's YouTube manager was like, you got to have different types of programming on a channel. So we just were like, okay, Tuesdays will be Drombat, where it's challenges, <laughs> it's art challenges. It was a very different time uh, in the history of Droppy. <laughs> and looking back on it now from like my current position as someone who thinks nearly constantly about titling and thumbnailing. <laughs> I'm just like, what in the world were we doing? <laughs> My favorite was the clickable? one I saw, the episode I saw that was called <laughs> Pringle Prankers Comic. <laughs> that was the whole title, was Pringle Prankers Comic. Oh, Jacob, now that you've mentioned it, people are going to go look it up. I want them to. I want Pringles Frankers comic. At the time of recording, that video has zero dislikes. It has zero dislikes. <laughs> Please and, don't dislike it. And 16,000 views. <laughs> it's a pretty good ratio. Yeah. yeah. But that's 16,000 views in like six years. Yeah. 16,000 people saw the title Pringles Prankers comic. And thought, yes, I will click on this. Yeah, that's those are the me. real ones. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you're a longtime Trophy fan and you watched <laughs> Pringles Prankers comic, 
<laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're you're our you truest. You deserve everything. <laughs> our truest fan. Nathan, I need to tell you that I went back to the Drombat special guest episode, the one uh-huh. that I was in. Yeah. And immediately the the fourth top comment is one by Zai Zai Query and says, "I always think this series is draw plus wombat." Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I yeah, found they always do. That's correct. There's always at least one who thinks that. <laughs> Even right here in this conversation, it was me. <laughs> and you're right to think that. Just like so many people think it's draw free. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not draw free. You don't drink freedom out of a mug, now do you? <laughs> it's not where the freedom goes. I would no. if I could. I love this great nation. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyways, Jacob, what is this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> this is youth, youth pastor. Oh, he had sunglasses too. Yeah, he had, <laughs> as you call them in the episode, reading shades. Because he's <laughs> that's, he's that's got them pretty funny. <laughs> I do like that about uh, that. I said occasionally, there's one thing I say that I like. I watched that episode back before recording this because we were discussing doing this episode. And I got to say, you and Caldwell are pretty funny together in that one. <laughs> I appreciate that, Nathan. It's more like, like I said to you guys earlier, when I watch it back, it sounds like I'm talking in slow motion <laughs> and that I'm also drawing in slow motion. <laughs> And that everything I'm doing is just like way too slow and way too soft. And I sound like I'm about to go to sleep at any second. (laughs) But really, I was just so scared of making myself seem foolish. Another reason we we were quieter in those episodes is because we were in the middle of an office. Well, where people were working actively. Yeah. And we were trying to annoy them as little as possible. On an open floor plan office building. Yeah giving out these Jesus pamphlets. Didn't stop Caldwell <laughs> for being as loud as he wanted to be. You know what, but good, good for him. Yeah, proud of him. You know, he's who we needed in those times. Absolutely, because Caldwell brought all the energy that we were at the time incapable of bringing. <laughs> <laughs> there would just be two people on an episode and one of them would be Caldwell and that was all you needed. And now... I I had to keep, after he left, I just had to keep bringing more and more people on in order to fill that that void, (laughs) that word void. But I think it's really nice that we have so many of us now. Yeah. Yeah. More friends. I'm so upset that I can picture this on like a summer camp flyer. Yeah, this is definitely an unlicensed mural. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) On a a daycare. (laughs) Have you heard the good word lately? You know what I love more than chili dogs? Jesus. I'm going to have like one leg up. Wearing some shorts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cover that. I keep needing more room. This this Sonic Youth Pastor is a certified lifeguard as well. Sonic Youth Pastor. <laughs> like the band Sonic Youth. Like, yeah. <laughs> have you listened to Sonic Youth lately? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> it's not the word of God. <laughs> it's satanic. <laughs> and that's way uncool. Also, Jacob, in the the decision to instead of giving him just a right side up cross, but uh, an upside down cross with a line through it is also very funny. That was an accident for sure. <laughs> an accident? I was just trying to replicate the uh, the bad religion symbol, but that's just a cross that's like crossed out, I think. But I made it an upside down cross that was crossed out, which is no longer bad religion. <laughs> it's good religion. It's, it's good religion. <laughs> I believe it was also called Jacob the Hedgehog. So in some sense, it was me, I guess. This is some dark part of my own <laughs> soul. He's in there. <laughs> He's in your psyche. Couple leg hairs, oh, yes. belly button, drawstring. Oh, it's a crop top. Yeah, it's a crop I top. See. I see. Oh, he's going to have his foot on one of like the little TV power up things from the games. Oh, good. You guys know gaming? No. <laughs> no. Damn. I dabble. I thought you were gamers. <laughs> no, this is the wrong crowd for that. 
I feel like there's something weird too about drawing, redrawing an old drawing like this. It's just that like n none of what I did would I do the same. <laughs> so to, to even make the same image is kind of difficult. But you did it. I think this is an improvement. It's definitely an improvement. I'm gonna pull the other one back up here in a second. That's got like a ring on it. I like it, so I'm gonna put a ring on it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thanks everyone. <laughs> I didn't say nice. Thank you. <laughs> get some grass. Set a scene. Still Don't standing get some grass. It. That's against the word of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that is not Jesus. That is not that Jesus. That is not Jesus. So not Jesus. This is not Jesus. Is he just standing out in a field and I'm walking by? Yeah, you desperately just want to like keep walking home, but he's always <laughs> in this field. <laughs> Every day. Every day. You can't speed walk past this. This guy. Here we go. I'll catch oh up God. to you. Oh, I forgot his e-cigarette, but that's okay. <laughs> he quit. He quit in the, yeah. in the interim. Good for him. So here's how wow. I would interpret um, Jacob the Hedgehog, hardcore teenage youth pastor. I just want to say he's one arm. Yeah, the original. he did just <laughs> he have He grew one a arm. second one <laughs> in the interim. <laughs> and it kind of just came out of his orb body. <laughs> The glow up wow. is real. But, yeah, you know, it was a different time, but not for him. He's still the same person he was back then. Yeah, <laughs> except he doesn't smoke. He doesn't smoke anymore. Uh, Julia, it's me. your turn. Julia, Julia, Julia. It's my turn. Bring us back. Bring us on a journey back. <laughs> Bring us back now, y'all. Um, my episode, <laughs> as we said, was John Bat special guest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a classic episode. April of 2014, and it was Caldwell, much like Jacobs. Caldwell gave me a shape, and I I drew it. Yeah, I drew I drew the rest, and there is the shape. Mmm. And that's what I made. That's so cool. Yeah. See, it's good. Is the problem. And see, I like it. And I was originally planning on just thinking of a new thing, but the more that I looked at it, I was like, Nah, I still like it. So I think I'm just gonna redraw it. You're just going to do the same thing You're again. You're just going to do Journey again? Yeah. Unless okay. I should do a different drawing. No, do whatever should you we? feel. Yeah. yeah you if you like you something and you want to do it again, just do it again. That's self-care. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> I can't stop you. I'm I'm interested to see how what what's different and what's the same about it. If it ends up being the exact same thing, that might be an issue. <laughs> If if it ends up being the exact same thing, that'll actually be amazing. That would be wildly impressive. <laughs> I have not improved whatsoever. I've not changed. I've not improved. I do feel like my art is probably the most consistent from beginning to now, which is sad on my part. I have not improved very much. I think you've that's actually okay. improved a lot. You were just better than yeah. we were. The the baseline was higher. <laughs> yeah. You were starting at a higher place than I was when I started. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Anyone who watches the speed draw episodes can see that like your range has vastly expanded over the years. But like your your sort of baseline consistent style you seem to already have mastered in twenty fourteen. It had stayed pretty consistent. I But do every part of it got better. Yeah. Since then. Uh, thank you. That's the correct response to a compliment. You did it. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm remembering the little details. <laughs> remembering the little cat ears of the... A little meow meow. Of the friend. This okay. one kind of looks like a finger puppet right now. Yeah, it yeah. does. Or like a thumb puppet. <laughs> okay. So, Julia, tell us about your early droppy experiences. Were you confused? No. <laughs> no, not. I was there since the inception, sitting across slash behind Caldwell, because I started I started at the company before Nathan mm -hmm. uh, at, at Dorkley on a team of maybe just myself. Was Bridgman there by the time you started, Nathan? No, it, Bridgman started after me because um, it was you, you Owen and Murph, and then Owen and Murph both became uh, cast members pretty shortly yes. after I started, and then okay. they needed to hire a replacement for both of them, and that was how we got Bridgman. That was one Ooh. bridge man. Yeah. <laughs>
who then went on to be almost every job at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really, you know, that's a that's a strong t- you and Bridgman is like a team of two people who will do every job always <laughs> rather than see something not get done. It's because we had to. The the original episode that the you drew this on, you guys were talking about the the Dorkly Fan Art Expo at C two E two. Yes. <laughs> I think I was I was in Drawfee for the plug. Yeah. But that was fun. Oh yeah, that was a fun getting, event. Getting to go to uh, Chicago and go to go to a con and be in like our own special zone at the con. That was when Nathan notoriously met Ryder Strong. Oh yeah, I didn't know who that was. <laughs> what? But you had to interview Ryder Strong, and you didn't. Yeah, know who he they was. told me to interview him, <laughs> and I was like, I don't know who this man is, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's some there's some fun videos from that convention. Julia Caldwell and I made like cardboard box cosplay. I genuinely had a blast at that convention. Yeah. I genuinely had a blast. I met Xander from Buffy, which Ooh. I went back to the booth after using the bathroom and he was there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> he was hanging out with um Sarah Sarah Miller, I believe her name is, that like pretty famous tattoo artist cool it was fun it was a fun time and we got some cool uh fan art submitted to the expo as well yeah and caldwell's laptop got stolen (laughs) that's right (laughs) oh my god i like these these buildings back here what a time and i hope someday we can do a con (laughs) yeah i know i really want to i hope there's Cons in the future, post-apocalypse. I want to do something like that now more than ever. I miss it. Yeah, yeah. me too. I, I was like <laughs> taking it for granted that we would have like, you know, one or two we'd go to in yeah. a year. And now it, it's nothing. There's nothing. This is this is a drawing of us uh-huh. going on yeah, running <laughs> trip to a con. Because I'm just like, I, I did a lot of cons and... I, I feel like I had a lot of pretty questionable con experiences, like bad times. But in comparison, <laughs> <laughs> I I wish I could go back. I took those times for granted. <laughs> we'll never take cons for granted again. Never again. If the ceiling explodes and water starts leaking on the tables, <laughs> maybe I'll like it more this time. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, the the post quarantine con circuit, you're gonna get like the most friendly, happy to talk to fans, yeah. content creators of of all yeah, time. You better make it to the first one. I want to be. I want to be yeah. there. <laughs> We're gonna be extra generous on that one. Just like grateful for any human contact. <laughs> that does make me remember uh, that the first time we did Mocha as Drawfee. I was horribly sick. Right. And I you went ta- you anyway. talk about that in this uh, in this episode, I think. Do we? Yeah. Because it was it was like <laughs> right before we went to C two E two, and you were like incredibly sick, but also designing the entire like floor plan of the convention. Yeah. From home. I was sick designing that, and I was sick going to Mocha because it was all like around oh the same God. time. I was happy to have a day out. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's big day out. I'm involved. <laughs> Dying of illness. That was fun, and then I, I think I stayed home for a week because I was sick. Nice. And I didn't have my voice, and I fell asleep during a meeting, and then I woke up, and someone said, "Julia, please go home." And I said, <laughs> "Yes." Yeah, that's that's correct. That's the right impulse there. Um, this is. This is my drawing. This is, this is nice. It really is just the the, the drawing, but yeah. Better. Can we compare it? Blow up on Wait. that. Oh, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not him. <laughs> not, not you. <laughs> not you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I that do. I do like the little the little sprinklings of little light yeah. modes. And I know you're gonna blow this one out too, and the render make it a nice scene. <laughs> I really like the art for Journey. It's wonderful. It's a nice mood. Anyway, this is it. Lovely. 
Woo. Well, what a what a fun little journey into memories. Hey, all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there's one thing we've learned from this episode, it's that everyone needs to go watch Pringle Prankers the comic. <laughs> no, <laughs> but do not dislike. <laughs> but do not dislike it. But I do want Pringle Prankers the comic to have one million views. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, this has been Drawfee. I mean, that was the plug. Like, normally we plug subscribing yeah. to the channel or, or supporting Patreon. the Patreon. But for this one, just <laughs> Pringle Prankers the comic. Make sure it stays at zero dislikes and gets a million views. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leave a suggestion of what you want to see us draw next time. And uh, we're sorry. 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 Pringle Prankers the comic. The comic. <laughs>